everybody, it's Brad, and today I'm going to show you something that's not digitizing. Uh, there's a really neat tool that's built into your Floriani Total Control U program that uh, I don't think I've ever talked about uh, on this channel or in any of my classes, and it's really nifty uh, and useful. It's called the Batch Converter, uh, and what the Batch Converter does, it is, it'll take uh, a whole collection uh, of embroidery designs that are in one format and convert them to another. So if you've switched uh, machine brands, uh, like you had a Viking for years and years and years, and then you came to your senses and bought a baby lock, um, what are you going to do with all those HUS and VP3 files? Um, you could convert them one at a time by opening them and then go into file and save as and then change it to a PES, but that would take forever if you had you know hundreds of designs. So the way I'm going to show you uh, everyone should be able to do this that has Floriani, whatever brand uh, machine that you have. Uh, and then you're going to use the same process for what I'm going to show you today um, to convert your own design collections should you have such a collection. Um, but even if you don't, what I'm going to show you today uh, is how to take the design library that you get uh, when you buy the software and convert it to your chosen machine format. Uh, and let me show you why. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, open up your Floriani software, go to create a new design. We're not going to be creating a new design, but this uh, gets us in. Oops, missed the click. All right, so anyway, uh, if we go over here to library and we go to free monthly designs and say we pick this month, uh, March 2018, and then we go and hit designs over here. These are the designs for this month. Uh, but as you can see, what these design files are is a .waf, right? That's the working file that's uh, the Floriani design format. And uh, your sewing machine can't actually read that. So if you want to use any of these designs that you get with your machine, or not with your machine, with your software, you have to take the design, drag it into the program here, Okay, there's our design, and then go to File, Save As, and then I have to tell it that I want to save it as my format and hit Save. So, you know, that's a fairly tedious process if all I want to do is sew out one of these designs. So, what we can actually do with the batch converter is select all of the designs that are in that folder and have it automatically convert them to my preferred format. So, how do you do that? Let's see. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and close out this design. I don't even have to have a design open for this to work. So I just closed that, um, that egg design out. I don't have a design open, and it's fine. You go up to Tools up here, File, Edit, View, Tools, and then you go down to Batch Converter. You left-click on Batch Converter. There we go. And for your source folder, this is where the unconverted designs are. So in, in this case, we want to look at our entire free design library. And the location of that is in C Drive. So you go on this browse thing. You may be looking at this. When you first open this, so you go to computer or whatever your computer's name is, rather, uh, and then you go to uh, C Drive, and then you go to Floriani, Designs, Free Monthly Designs. Okay, so that's the way the file tree breaks down. C Drive, Floriani, Designs, Free Monthly Designs. And just select this directory here. Don't select one of the ones on the inside. Don't select a month. Select this free monthly designs and hit OK. And then you're going to hit, you're going to choose your target folder. Um, I'm going to take my USB drive and plug it into my computer because what I want to do is um, say I have a baby lock destiny or, a, uh, or another machine that has a USB port. Um, I'm going to take my, uh, my, my designs and put them all on my USB all at once so that I can bring them over to my machine and, and look at the designs uh, and pick them right on the machine. So anyway, plug in my USB in. There we go. It's plugged in. Computer recognizes that it's plugged in. Uh, it's going to take it a few seconds. There we go. Okay, so we can see that my USB drive is this Lexar F. All right, cool. We're going to close this, and we tell it that we want, for the target folder, we want Lexar F. So your USB drive will be named whatever the name of your USB drive is. Um, you know, somewhat like if it's a SanDisk, it may be a, it may say Cruiser, and then 
um, whatever the letter designation your computer assigns to it. So we're going to select that and click OK. And for source formats, the format that we want to convert from in this case is WAF. That's what the designs are currently in. So we're going to left click right here, put a little check mark next to Floriani Files WAF and our target format is going to be whatever format your machine uses. So if you have a baby lock, that's going to be one of these PES options down here. And um, basically, if you have a baby lock that is a Illissimo um, or newer, so uh, let's say if your machine was purchased since about 2008, uh, and it's a single needle machine, you're going to choose this one, baby lock brother PES V9. And if it is a multi-needle machine, you're going to pick uh, this one here, multi-needle PES V9. Okay, so say I'm using this for Destiny, I'm going to click on Baby Lock Brother PES V9. Um, and if um, if you have a Elegante or um, you know one of the older machines, um, if you want to be safe, you can just pick PES. Uh, but most likely, if you pick PES V6, it's going to work for whatever you have. Uh, anyway. Um, we're going to put a check mark next to that, check mark next to that, and all we have to do is make sure that we have a check mark next to include subdirectories, and that's it. Just hit start. And what we're looking at here is it going and converting every design for every month of every year. Uh, and once it's done, then I'll be able to take this USB stick that I just copied all these designs to, plug it into my embroidery machine and have all of the free designs at my fingertips ready to use without actually having to go into the Floriani program and convert each one. Um, so I really feel like um, people don't take advantage of their free designs as much because of the process that you have to go through in order to get to them. Uh, namely, you know, go through the clunky library and design pages on your, on your Floriani um, software which, much as I love the Floriani software, it is a really clunky design, the way that the, the library works. Anyway, you'll have all these designs on your USB drive ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my USB drive, and we'll take a look. Okay, here we go. There they are. So April, August, December, blah, blah, blah. We've got all of the, um, the months in here. I can just plug this USB drive into my sewing machine, and then I will see the um, the years and there we go and then I've got all my individual designs now my computer can't make a picture of these because I don't have the uh, the software that makes Windows able to display a embroidery design on this computer um, but when you plug this into your sewing machine the sewing machine will show you thumbnails of these uh, just like it does when you look at the designs that are built into it so um, anyway I just wanted to share with you how cool the batch converter is it is um, it is very very powerful um, you know, sometimes I have people that buy uh, a new embroidery machine from us and they had, you know, another brand and they've got maybe a, a, a huge drive full of embroidery designs. I can convert their designs just like that using the batch converter and you can too. Um, and uh, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. See you in the next one.